guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys the official Droid Bionic Bootstrap Recovery that has been released by Kush. Uh, for the past several days we've been using the unofficial version uh, that was released by CVPCS, but it has been made official, all the bugs have been worked out, and is now on the market for $2.99. Uh, this is the application that you must have in order to uh, modify and ROM your new Droid Bionic. But today in particular I wanted to show you guys how to make Nandroid backups and also how to recover your backup. Um, for most of you guys this is remedial but for some of you guys who are new to this, uh, maybe this is your first Android smartphone or either, either you've never attempted to ROM or root or modify uh, your Droid phone in any way and you guys maybe don't know how to do this so I want to show you guys uh, so you understand how to do it. Why would you need an Android backup for your phone? Uh, well, you can kind of consider it a fail-safe mechanism. If you have a backup of a working ROM on your phone, you can always revert to that if something goes wrong uh, while flashing a ROM. That way you don't have to uh, totally recover the phone to stock settings. You can go back to a ROM that you like, be set up, everything will be there, all your apps that you downloaded, uh, even like your your call logs and all your text messages everything will be there once you restore your Nandroid backup so let's go ahead and get started obviously you need to be rooted and you need to have uh, the Droid Bionic Bootstrap APK you can get it from the market for $2.99 and that's what I suggest that you do to, uh, to help support the developer um, but it's also open source so if you want to grab it It'll be at the link in the description. So once you have it installed on your phone, go ahead and boot it up. And click Bootstrap Recovery. Click OK. And Reboot Recovery. So if you have the unofficial app, you probably want to go ahead and get the official app because, like I said, all the bugs have been worked out. Um, I know on the unofficial app, we couldn't access the external SD card or either the internal SD card. I guess it's the internal SD card that we couldn't access. But ROMs often will install extras to the external SD card. And I know like whenever I installed the big DX uh, Bionic theme, I had to go and drag and drop some files that were not there. Okay, so once you were in, once you're in Clockwork Recovery, uh, let me try to get a more focused view here for you. Okay, so once you are in Clockwork Recovery, you're going to go to Backup and Restore. Select that with the power button. And then just click Backup. And that's going to begin the backup process. Um, and it should take several minutes. It may take uh, up to 10 minutes so I'm gonna pause while it backs up and then when it finishes I'll show you guys how to restore it okay guys so when you're all done you'll have this screen uh, where it says backup complete uh, I did time it it took about 12 minutes to finish the entire process uh, the part of the process that took the longest uh, was the backing up the data that took about 8 of the 12 minutes um, also, you notice on here this says no SD extension. Um, I'm sorry, no SD external found. Skipping backup of the SD external. Um, there's really no need for this program to back up your entire external SD card because you're never going to wipe that. Even if you do like the fast boot FXZ file where you uh, take it completely back to stock, everything that you save on your SD card, like your music and video. Uh, all that stuff's going to be there even if you do like a complete wipe. So there's really no reason for it to back it up. Uh, so once that finishes, um, you'll have that backup there. And if you go into backup and restore and select that, and then just go into restore and select that, you'll see. Um, I had one that I did earlier today, uh, well actually it was yesterday, of my Big DX theme, and then I have the one that I just did, uh, which is right there. And to restore that, all you would have to do is 
hit the select button. There's really no need for need, uh, excuse me. There's really no need for me to restore that right now, so I'm not going to. But that's all you have to do to restore that. Um, like I said, the Nandroid backup is a failsafe in case you mess something up whenever you're uh, rhyming or modifying your phone through Clockwork Recovery. A lot of people have also used it uh, to save ROMs that they like on their phone so that they could revert back to that ROM later on if they wanted to. The only problem with that is you need to make sure that you're on the same framework before you go restoring an old ROM. Um, if you're on a stock blur ROM and you try to flash a custom AOSP recovery, then it's not going to work properly. Um, it will finish and you will have the old ROM back, but it's going to force close like crazy because you've got two separate types of frameworks. And also if you go from like a an old version, um, like an old stock version to a new stock version, and then you try to revert back to the old outdated stock version, then you'll have the same problem where you'll get the force closes because it's on a different framework. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yes, as long as you're on the same uh, gingerbread system version and as long as you're um, you know either on coming from a blur going to a blur or coming from an AOSP going to an AOSP then you're not going to have any trouble uh, restoring these ROMs but mainly what it's there for is so that you can make your backup before you restore a new ROM in case something goes wrong uh, you can revert to that Nandroid backup guys uh, that's it really quick really easy uh, check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your droid phone. Also follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with a E, not a 3, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Intoxicated world, boys and girls,